I don't know how you do it. I put together some really impressive deals. But this thing you've pulled off, it's amazing. A big and tasty for just a dollar? How do you do it? What's your secret? Mm -hmm. Got a buck? You're in luck. Because you can get a delicious, beefy, big and tasty, a McChicken sandwich, and lots of your other favorites on McDonald's dollar menu every day. Together, Grimace, we could own this town. <laughs> well, there you go. The troll of the year strikes again. Mr. Donald Trump goes out in Pennsylvania and he's a man of his word. He said that he's going to go and work at McDonald's. Going for a job right now at McDonald's. I've had, I really wanted to do this all my life. And now I'm going to do it because she didn't do it. Thank you very much. I'll see you at McDonald's. Something that Kamala have never done. There's no proof of Kamala ever work at McDonald's. So Mr. Trump says, you know what? I'm going to work at McDonald's. I'm going to be the fry guy. And sure enough, he went out there in Pennsylvania. And look at this crowd here. Look at this crowd here, folks. There's over 10,000 folks out here on the streets of Pennsylvania. As he goes into this McDonald's and become a fry guy. Unbelievable. So he goes in, gets the instructions from a young man. He says that he's paying attention. He's following directions. He's paying attention. He gets in, serve it up. We gotta hit that timer, bring that one up. I'm gonna take care of these. People. Okay. Right there, so grab that. Can you give him extra salt? No, no. <laughs> yep, oh, yep, good. Okay. Right there. And then we're going to grab the fry scoop right here, right. put it into there, and just give him okay. a twirl that way. Okay, yep. where's the little thing? Medium. Not only that, he goes to the drive thru and meet a few of his clients. And let's take a look. You could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. <laughs> I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Actually. Thank you. Damn, Kamala, he roasted you at the Al Smith dinner as you was a no-show and now he's over here super trolling your ass. It's Kamala's birthday? She's turning She's 60, 60 years old? Do you want to say anything? Yes, I would say happy birthday, Kamala. <laughs> She's turning 60. Uh, Did you get her some fries? I think I'll get her some flowers. Why not to beat her Maybe again? I'll get her some fries. You're right. That might be. I'll give, give her some McDonald's. I'll get her a McDonald's hamburger. No, it is her birthday. Why it is true, right? I, I yes. Happy birthday, you. Kamala. Happy birthday. See you later. Bye. Birthday. Thank you, Thanks everybody. Now, even McDonald's, who have kept records of all the employees, they never claim that you work there. Something McDonald's would be proud of. If you did work there, they'll be proud to say that Vice President Harris used to work here and we're proud of it. We we produce leaders. They'll they'll take that as a as an advertisement. Working mother, I had a summer job at McDonald's. But there's no record of them ever hiring you. And they called you out. Trump called you out. You're a liar. Now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Are you going to put this on your resume? I never worked here. Why would she lie about something like that? Kamala. Look, they put on your resume. I worked at McDonald's. Why would she lie about that? Why? Because she's lying, Kamala. That's why. Not only that, you lied about your background. You stole somebody's grandmother and you claim it as your own. Shout out to Candace Owens with her 
intensive investigation in your background. Pined about it, confirmed that the photo was fraudulent. And since we dropped that episode yesterday, it's been crazy. Uh, the reason why we're running a, a little bit late with today's episode is because we've had more phone calls with Kamala's family members. Um, and they have confirmed to us beyond a shadow of a doubt that the person that is pictured in Kamala's book is not the real Miss Beryl. Kamala cannot sue me for that statement. She cannot sue me for defamation. That is not the real Miss Beryl. That is not her grandma Beryl that is in that photo, okay? And it's all started with the media coming after Janet Jackson. You got that Janet Jackson alone, Candace Owens will never have dig in your ass. Now she uncovered all this. You are a liar. And Donald Trump, again, trumped you. Well, I'm looking for a job, and I've always wanted to work at McDonald's. I never did. I'm running against somebody that said she did, but it turned out to be a totally phony story. So, President Trump! Well, that's a good-looking group. Hello, everybody. Crazy. I'm Crazy. having a lot of fun here, everybody. Look at all the fake news over there. Kamala loved to claim that she's from the middle class, that she's for the working people. There's no proof of you ever working at McDonald's or had a summer job. You always work for the government. Trump worked in the private sector. Trump has over 23,000 employees. You've never worked as a private sector before. No such thing as a little job. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> um, because your opponent almost every day seems to be talking about this. So I just want to ask you yes or no. At any point in your life, have you served... Two all beef patties, special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on, on a sesame, sesame seed, seed bun. bun. <laughs> Working at a McDonald's, yes or no? That's it. I have. Okay. Now the other job. Now and, the other job. But it was okay. not a small job. Like I did okay. the fries. I mean, I you know. Yeah. And once again, Mr. Trump, out here showing the people that he's not afraid to roll up his sleeve and get in there. Oh, you! He's a wealthy guy. Uh, he owns a lot of McDonald's. <laughs> That's great, thank you. Okay. And you know he's doing a good job because the people, the media, especially MSNBC, they're hating on it. Let's take a listen to the clip. I mean, if you're on his campaign, and I know you are certainly not, I'm not making any implication of that, but <laughs> what, what is the logic behind this, going to a McDonald's? I mean, we know the guy likes Big Macs and filet of fish and he's used the word love to describe the way he feels about the food there before. But what's this about? Uh, there's no logic to it. It's a stunt. Uh, he has not put forth an economic agenda. Uh, he, as you know, is uh, appears to be not well, uh, and he's uh, engaged in some really bizarre types of uh, activities during this campaign. So this is just another one of those uh, stunts that he will continue on through the campaign. And I think that we need to really focus on making sure that uh, he is not elected, of course, because he is a threat to our democracy, but also uh, the Harris loss agenda is about uh, the economy, reducing the cost of living, reducing the cost of prescription drugs, reducing the cost of housing and making life better for everyone. And that's what we have to focus on and make sure we get every voter to the polls and make sure that the voters vote for uh, the free future, not taking the country backwards, as you see that what Donald Trump mm -hmm. continues to try to do. So I'm urging and encouraging everyone to get to the polls and vote for uh, Kamala Harris and Tim Walz to be their next uh, president and vice president. Wow, wow, wow. Man, to see a billionaire humble himself to go down there in the trenches with the fry guys, getting instruction from a young man, paying attention, doing a job, and humble. Something that Kamala can't do. Kamala is one of the elitists. Even though Kamala says that she worked at McDonald's, she act like she'd never been there. A lot of fun here, everybody. Oh, look, my God. Oh, my God. Fake, look at all the fake news. Oh Hello, I, everybody. You can, you can take this, right? And you know this is compliments of Trump, okay? Yes, thank oh, you. Mr. President, yes. please don't let the United States be 
from Brazil, my native Brazil. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll please, keep it good. Please, please. We're going to make it better than ever, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you over there. Thank you for oh, my God. Have a good time. Thank nice you. to see you. Bye, darling. Thank you. And this is very powerful, man. This is this is this is very touching, man. I don't know what to say about this. This is very touching. And I'm glad he done this. He humanized himself. And you see that MSNBC doesn't like that. The media is gonna go against it. But he humbled himself. He humanized himself. He comes down to the common folks. He speaks the language of the common folks. He don't go around talking over your head with big words and all that. Again, like I said before, he's a poor man's billionaire. A working man's billionaire. And there you go. He shows and proves. Shout out to you, Donald Trump. I'm on my way to McDonald's right now. Watching the video got me a little hungry and I'm a little inspired by this. And man, nothing short of a landslide. This got to be too big to rig. Kamala have to lose big time. We need to see Kamala cry in her fries. All right. Shout out to you, Donald Trump. That's all I got for you guys. Hit the like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time.